Hello and welcome to a demonstration of the order exchange to do systems. You can see on the screen at the moment I have a copy of the order exchange in the foreground and in the background I have a copy of the DS systems running. Um, I'm currently just having a look into the sales list. Um, I can see at the moment that there are no sales sitting in DIA. Just jump back into the order exchange. Now the order exchange normally will run in the background. Um, we're running in the foreground at the moment just for demonstration purposes. Um, what we call the source of truth is normally the accounting or the ERP system, uh, in this case DIA system. So um, all of the item information and customer information etc is held inside of DIA and we actually check it um, in the ERP system rather than having to come into our system. Uh, if there is an issue, you will get an email. Um, normal issues may be such things such as product not found or unknown customer. Okay, our dashboard is fairly simple. Um, you'll see at the top there's nothing in our system at the moment, just for the demonstration. Uh, so we have none in the completed state, none in progress at the moment, and no orders requiring any attention. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm, so I'm just going to hit the big green button, which is the process orders button. The system will now go off and check inside DIA systems um, for any inventory items, etc. Um, it'll go check for any of the orders to come down from retail. In this case, we've found two. <coughs> it'll um, unpack those orders, have a look at them and validate them, make sure that they're all okay. Uh, there's other steps we can do approval and pre-processing steps, etc. that we can go into in more details at a later date if necessary. Um, and then what happens is we'll import the orders into the into DIA, um, as you can see here. The, both of these orders have come down, been validated, and gone into DIA system. So if I come back into here and hit refresh, <coughs> you'll see those two orders have come down uh, and they're ready for processing. So on your normal day-to-day -day basis, this would all happen in the background. And what you would be seeing is your orders just appearing inside your dashboard inside of DIA, ready to be processed. I can come in and have a look. Um, I'll have a look at the 021. And I can see for this particular order, we've ordered 10 widgets. Okay. In our system, it looks like an order. Um, if you ever get one that has a validation issue, it'll flag it as invalid and say the reasoning why. It could be you've got price checking on and we don't like it, as in it didn't match up. Um, you can always come back in here and actually fix them yourself if you want. don't want to go back to the retail and the system will also handle that. Um, and you can see we have the range of information we see at the moment. One's been ordered, one's been accepted. Uh, we're yet to do the analyze and find it inside of the system, but we'll get to that on the next step. Okay, so if I go into DIA, uh, normally you'd do your day-to-day -day business, so you'd open up uh, PO0002, have a quick look at it. Okay, I can see the 10 widgets. Uh, this is just a demonstration system, so I'll ignore margins, etc. Um, and then you can go through and authorize it. In this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast track the process. Um, so I'm just going to go and do an auto pick. Okay, I'm going to authorize that. Um, I'm going to pack it. So I'll just copy that from the pick. I'm going to ship it. I'll give it a tracking number. Authorize the shipment. And at the same stage, I'm going to invoice it. Okay, and that one's all done. And I'll <coughs> just go back to the sales list. Now, what happens in our system is um, you don't have to come back in our system. It will happen automatically again. Uh, we can schedule it for different times of the day. So in this case here, I'm just going to pinpoint the task. Um, and I'm going to use 002. I'm, I'm going to ask the system to process it now. I'm going to put it in all state because it will go to a completed state and we'll be able to have a look at it from there. Now, any changes that are done to the order, whether it's a price change or a quantity change or you've decided not to ship some of the, the goods, etc., is picked up automatically by our system in, in, during the day and sent back to the retailer if the retailer requires that information. Uh, it will send a dispatch notice or an ASN off to the retailer as well if the retailer requires it uh, once you've gone past shipment stage and it will send the invoice if the retailer requires it, obviously, once you've invoiced the goods. So for the demonstration, I'm just going to right click on this one, hit process. Okay, it's going to have a look at that item and it's doing a thing called analyze now, which means it's having a look inside of DEER to see what you've done. Have you split the order? Are you back ordering it? You know, have you done everything? And now it's actually uploading the documents off to the retailer. Okay, so all that happens automatically. And you'll see this has now gone into completed and we can see invoice 005 sitting in the system 
and if I jump into the system now I can see that it's updated itself to say everything has been packed and invoiced okay all of this information here is just held for historical purposes um, normally what you'd be seeing is exactly what you saw in um, dear where the fact that it appears here you've gone through your process you've finished that process off um, you've gone and picked and packed and what will happen is later on during the day when we do an analyze we'll work out the fact that that's ready to go and we'll send it off to the retailer okay the order exchange can do a lot more things than just what you've seen now um, however you want info more information then please contact us at sales at the order thank you